American aircraft carriers are the single most powerful military vessels on the planet. And they're so huge, they're referred to as supercarriers. Yet China can destroy them in minutes. And it appears China wants to. Tucked away in the Taklamakan Desert in China, satellite images show full-size mock-ups of American aircraft carriers being used as target practice. Like these mock-ups, America's supercarriers have stood no chance against China's new hypersonic missiles that fly at faster than the eye can see. Until now. And that is thanks to brand new laser weapons that will work better than sci-fi movies could ever show. These weapons would be the ultimate response to the constant Chinese hypersonic missile threat. Chinese hypersonic missile threat. As the tension between China and the US continues to grow, Chinese dominance in hypersonic missile technology is a threat the US would have no choice but to take seriously. China has the most advanced hypersonic missiles in the world, far ahead of both the US and Russia. The nation is building a hypersonic missile arsenal from multiple programs across its multiple military services. The most notable of these missiles are the DF-17, the Shinkong-2, and the YJ-21. The YJ-21, which is believed to have a range of 930 miles and a top speed between Mach 6 and Mach 10, has already entered its testing phase. In footage from 2022, the YJ-21 could be seen cold launch from the vertical launch system of a $900 million Type 055 Renhai-class guided missile cruiser. The Shingong-2, too, has been making some strides. As a wave rider, the Shingong-2 rides its own shock waves for greater lift, less drag, greater range, and overall improved performance. The missile boasts a maximum range of 6,200 miles, a flight ceiling of 98,000 feet, and a top speed exceeding Mach 6. Then there is the Dongfang-17 missile. Also known as DF-17, this is the most mature hypersonic missile of them all. The 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound hypersonic missile has been tested seven times and boasted a success rate of 100% a maximum range of 1,600 miles, a flight ceiling of 197,000 feet, and unbelievable levels of maneuverability are only some of what makes the DF-17 the face of China's unrivaled hypersonic missile prowess. It is also the missile choice when China wants to send a message to its rivals, as was the case last year during one of the peak moments of the tensions between China and the US, which was caused by a disagreement regarding Taiwan. Taiwan Tensions – China versus the US One of the main reasons for the constantly deteriorating relationship between China and the US is China's undying wish to absorb Taiwan into its territory and the US's unrelenting desire to ensure Taiwan remains free as a bird. America's efforts in ensuring this dance have ranged from US President Joe Biden signing a defense spending bill in December 2022 that included up to $10 billion in assistance for Taiwan to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visiting the country. The latter is what caused the major ripple last year between the two world powers. To China, Nancy Pelosi's visit was a direct rebellion against the Asian country, as to them, she was on their soil, unwelcome, and they were going to make their displeasure very clear. During the visit, China fired a hypersonic missile only 75 miles from Taiwan in what was referred to as a test in China. But outside China's shores, it was considered more of a message and a reminder of what China's military capabilities had grown into. And of course, the message delivering missile of choice was the DF-17, once again proving to be a standout weapon that deserves its own section to be discussed. Chinese DF-17 Hypersonic Missile With a maximum range similar to half the radius of the Earth, a flight ceiling that almost makes it a space weapon, a top speed that makes sound seem slow, maneuverability that makes the missile completely unpredictable, 
And a conventional or nuclear warhead that strikes the fear of an apocalypse even in the bravest hearts, the DF-17 is nothing short of an unstoppable weapon. The designated warhead for the DF-17 is known as the DF-ZF. Both the DF-ZF work hand-in-hand -hand and are like two pieces in a two-piece puzzle. In fact, they were both officially unveiled on the same day, October 1, 2019. Combined, the DF-17 and DF-ZF highlight everything special about hypersonic missiles and show why world powers have invested heavily in the technology. They follow erratic paths at unexplored medium altitudes, while flying at over five times the speed of sound or faster to elude any chance of detection and interception. Impressive as that all might sound, their ability to be erratic, to maneuver, to be unpredictable during flight is the real standout feature here, not their hypersonic speeds as is publicly assumed. In fact, all of the world's ICBMs can travel at hypersonic speeds, with some going as fast as Mach 20. Still, they're not commonly referred to as hypersonic missiles. This is because ICBMs fly in a predictable elliptical path, which can make them somewhat easy to defend against using advanced missile defense systems. Today's hypersonic missiles such as the DF-17 and DF-ZF combo which pose the challenge of maneuverability all through their flight path, need to be tracked throughout their flight if they're to be defended. But traveling at 1 to 5 miles per second makes their tracking almost impossible, and their interception even more so. Basically, when these missiles have a target in sight, that target is as good as gone. Whether it wields legacy air defense systems or not, the U.S. knows this and itself has multiple hypersonic missile programs to enjoy the invincibility that comes with them. But the U.S. is also working on laser weapons that can defend against hypersonic weapons with relative ease. One of the most notable of these being the Helios laser weapon. Helios laser capabilities no matter how fast missiles currently are or get in the future, the U.S. Navy is expecting its laser weapons to burn them out of the sky. And this isn't far-fetched. Lasers are a form of light and therefore travel at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, the fastest anything can move in the universe. So, up against lasers, hypersonic missiles move slower than a turtle on land and so can be easily intercepted. This possibility has resulted in the development of Helios by the largest defense contractor in the world, Lockheed Martin, under contract by the U.S. Navy. Forty years of experience in directed energy landed Lockheed Martin the $150 million Helios program contract in 2018. The mission was to deliver an operationally effective and suitable laser weapon system that meets the Navy's mission requirements. Four years later, they delivered. On August 18, 2022, Lockheed Martin delivered the Helio system to the Navy. From a vantage point on the front of a ship it is installed on, Helios would counter targets from unmanned aerial systems to small boats and missiles from over five miles away. These targets, especially when operating in swarms, have proven to be too major to ignore but too minor to be destroyed at a proportionate cost. Helios's low cost of fire should handle that situation well. In addition to being a destructive weapon, Helios is also designed to have long-range ISR capability. Its sensors will be part of an integrated weapon system known as Aegis designed to provide decision-makers with maximum access to information. Aegis is the Navy's most modern surface combat system. It was designed as a complete system. The missile launching element, the computer programs, the radar, and the displays are fully integrated to work together. This makes the Aegis system the first fully integrated combat system built to defend against every kind of advanced air and surface threats including fighter jets, ships, and intercontinental ballistic missiles. The intelligence which Aegis acts on would also be made available to Helios to make it the best laser weapon and ISR equipment it can be. Helios can also function as a dazzler to obscure adversarial UAS-based ISR capabilities. 
blinding the enemy's sensors to limit their situational awareness and surveillance capabilities. As a Dazzler, Helios can also confuse the enemy's missiles to be significantly less accurate. Integrated and scalable by design, the multi-mission Helios system will provide tactically relevant laser weapon system warfighting capability as a key element of a layered defense architecture, countering everything on the opposing side. To ensure this, Helios has a modular open architecture that allows for upgrades to be implemented easily. Multiple kilowatt fiber lasers can simply be combined to attain higher beam intensities. Currently, the closest beam intensity target for Helios is a 150 kilowatt class laser, which would make the weapon highly effective as an anti-missile defense system. Helios is set to begin at-sea testing on Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Preble, starting sometime in the 2023 fiscal year. Roughly $19 million was requested for this. Optimistic about Helios, the Navy added to the Helios contract an option to order 14 more Helios systems for almost a billion dollars, and has already ordered at least one more Helios system for integration on another Arleigh Burke class destroyer. Besides Arleigh Burke class destroyers, though, Helios is also adaptable to other ships and combat systems, such as big deck amphibious ships, and of course, the most prized of all, aircraft carriers. Should the Helios grow into what it's about to become? American supercarriers such as the $13 billion USS Gerald Ford, the largest in the world, could soon wield laser weapons and become invincible once again. In fact, the only other thing that can make them more powerful is you subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. So, do that now, and thanks for watching.